This video is going to cover six advanced techniques you can use to improve your backhand slice. Let's go. Tip number one is actually slicing on the opposite side of the ball than what you would expect. Let me explain. Normally how we would slice is on the front of the ball or the left side of the ball if you're a right-handed player. What I want you to try here is something Andy Murray does all the time, and that's to slice on the inside of the ball. This shot is effective and useful when you're going for a down the line slice. And the reason why, it makes the ball curve outward. And that way when you're slicing down the line, not only is the ball going straight, but it's actually curving away from your opponent at the same time. Super effective. Effective. Tip number two, pivot to get the short angle. In my video on six intermediate slice tips, which you can check out here, I discuss the karaoke step, which is where as you hit the ball, you bring your left foot behind your right. What I'm gonna share here is more advanced because it's a lot trickier. Getting the short angle in tennis is super effective. You see Roger Federer did that so well throughout his whole career. And a way you can get a better short angle is to actually open up your stance and pivot as you hit your slice. This will help you carve around the side of the ball easier so you can get that side spin and have the ball sliding off the court. Tip number three is to carve around the side of the ball. So this is actually really not well known at all. And most players, when they slice, they'll slice the front of the ball and chop down. And that is correct. However, to get more out of your slice and to get the ball skipping off of the court, you wanna aim for the side of the ball. So wherever the ball is, you want to chop at the side and carve around the ball. One bonus tip here is to use your wrist to get more side spin on the ball. And what I mean by that is instead of keeping your wrist neutral when you do your slice, you can extend your wrist to carve around the side of the ball more. And that'll get you more side spin on the ball and get the ball skidding off the court. And the sponsor of today's video is the Izzers Scorekeeping Device. The Izzers Scorekeeper Device is an innovative yet simple and easy to use system for remembering the score. I keep Izzers on all of my rackets and I use it every single time I play because it's not about whether you can remember the score. It's about freeing up your mental capacity so you can focus on 100% on playing the game. The Amazon link to check out Izzers is in the description box below. Be sure to check that out and grab your own. Tip number four is to hit the ball closer to your body on the slice. If you're hitting the ball out, way far out in front, you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting around the side of the ball and getting that side spin. So what I want you to do instead is to think of hitting the ball more out to the side. You'll be able to carve around the ball a lot better. Tip number five is to follow the ball direction. This one sounds simple, but it's super important. Wherever you plan on hitting the ball, I want your body to follow. So if you plan on hitting down the line, I want your body to go in that direction. If you plan on hitting cross court, move cross court as you hit it. And if you're trying to hit that short angle, then move in that direction as well. Tip number six, the last and final tip. Something you can use to get even more downspin on the ball is to use your wrist again, but this time it's with ulnar deviation. So you're gonna be coming down like this as you hit it. This will help get more spin on the ball and more rotation. Now you're only as strong as your weakest link. And while it's awesome to have a low skidding slice, if that's your only shot and your opponent knows it's coming, they're gonna be able to take advantage of it. And that's why it's so important in tennis to be able to mix up your backhand side shots. And that's why you should watch this video next where I lay out five easy steps so you can develop a world-class backhand.